Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here. Today I am decorating for Christmas. I couldn't wait. I was too excited. I am going to get my upstairs cleaned up and I'm going to start decorating. I have Christmas trees. I have garland. There are lights, all the things. I'm so excited. I'm going to share with you a few new items that I have picked up and I am going to have so much fun getting everything decorated. If you're new here, I'm so glad you're here. We're gonna get this playroom tidied up before we bring in the Christmas trees. I am so excited. Let's get started. Here are my goals for this round of decorating. I am going to clean as I go so that my house is clean and I plan on doing decorations in the playroom and then in the three bedrooms. My boys share a room and then there's Alice's room and then my room that I also share with Connor. Uh, so this does take me two days to do. I started kind of late, but I also just want to have fun with it and not be completely burnt out. So I'm going to do the playroom and start my kids' rooms and clean up as I go. And then I'm gonna finish with myself and Connor's room after I do the finishing touches on the kids' room. So I'm gonna wipe everything down with Thief's Cleaner, make sure it looks amazing, make sure the windows are clean so that my neighbors can see that it's Christmas in my house already and get everything set up and decorated. Last year I thought about Christmas tree bag. I also have garland in there. I didn't pack it very well the previous year. I get my trees on clearance at the end of the season. This one I got at Target a couple of years ago. It's held up pretty well. I don't get the pre-lit ones because I've had whole sections go out before. So now I just get the plain ones and I put the lights on myself. We have done like real Christmas trees before. I used that used to be like the exclusive thing we got as a kid was a real Christmas tree. It was a whole thing. You went and you cut the Christmas tree down. I loved the experience, but I have a cold allergy and I break out in hives when I get too cold. So we don't do that as much anymore. And I like the convenience of the falsies. So I'm putting on the lights. I get my lights at Costco. Those Philips ones, they come in a two pack and they have two different settings which I kind of forgot about as I was doing this. So that was a fun surprise. You will see later <laughs> that I'm surprised by it. Um, and I'm putting the lights on. Please don't judge me. My mom was the most meticulous tree decorator. She would take the longest time putting the lights on. I remember as a kid just being so annoyed because it took forever, but she did a beautiful job. And I love the pre-lit trees, how everything's a really evenly distributed. And I'm doing the best that I can with the abilities that I have. I will fix that hanging down piece at the bottom, so don't worry. I am only focusing on getting the lights on the tree. We're not going to put ornaments on this one, at least not until a little bit closer to Christmas. My kids play rough and they've knocked Christmas trees over before. So now that the majority of the Christmas tree is done, I'm going to put some garland up here on top of the bookshelves and put some little lights in there as well. I buy like the little battery pack lights because we don't have an outlet up here to conveniently plug anything in. 
Uh, so I will show you them. I get them on Amazon. They come in like a pack of like six, which is really, really convenient. And they have a bunch of different light settings. The only thing is that the wire can get a little tangled, but if you have a little bit of patience, then it's fine, it's worth it. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday it's I keep it pretty simple up here, at least in the beginning. We usually have a good amount of snowmen. I'm a big fan. We've just kind of collected them over the years. Not many, but just these little guys. And this is what we're working with. The only new things I have are this gingerbread, which I'm going to put remotes in that I got at Target. And then down here, the only new things I have are these pillow covers, which I've shown before that I got at Ikea. Otherwise, I'm bringing out the old decorations, things I've collected. These, I believe, were a Target find a couple of years ago. The garland, I'm pretty sure I got on clearance at Michael's at some point. But we'll keep it minimal just because my kids play pretty hard. But I'm just gonna put these things up and then we will move on to the boys room start over new cuz i missed you so i'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you baby this year is just gonna be you and me hang by the fire and chill isn't this how it's supposed to be making our christmas memories oh Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh oh La da da oh oh La da 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 oh oh La da 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 Making our Christmas memories I've been wrapping presents for you I've been hanging marbles in the tree and I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Christmas memories, oh, and I've been longing to hold you close, forget about everyone else, isn't this how it's supposed to be, making our Christmas memories, oh, oh, la da da oh, 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 da 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 making our Christmas memories, yes, these are the good with you don't even care what we do if I spend it with you mm -hmm. just you and nobody else it's so good to see you again to see you again baby this year it's just gonna be you and me spot for a tree where it's not gonna stick out really far or like be blocked by a door or something so I got these pre-lit garland 
uh, from Target. I think what I'm gonna do is make a tree on the wall by using those command strip hooks to hold them in place. And then later we can like hang ornaments on it or whatever they wanna do. I haven't figured out the star yet, but star isn't completely necessary and they also might like to make one. So we're gonna get our tree, tree up. I don't think it'll take super long, but I say that about a lot of things and then they take super long, so hopefully. Hold up, I am on my way, I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go out. So for this, I'm using the pre-lit garland, which I talked about, and then I'm using command strip hooks. I'm using the ones made for like Christmas tree lights. They seem to last the longest for me and hold a pretty good amount of weight. So I am just pulling it up, seeing how tall I want it. I'm going to make like my main frame, like triangle for the tree, and then use the hooks to zigzag the garland up to fill it in and make it actually look like a tree. This was tedious. You have to hold the garland out of the way of the stickers. Connor turned the outlet power back on and it was a fun surprise. Um, but you have to make sure you hold the garland out of the way of the stickers. I ended up wasting a few of them because I forgot to do that. So it's a little tedious, but it was so worth it. This turns out really cool. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Again, tedious, but so worth it. And I'll show you what it looks like in a minute, all lit up. But first I need to clean up my mess from the garland and all of the command strip papers that I dropped on the floor. And then I have a few little things to add to the boys' beds. I got some blankets from Target and some of their new holiday pillows. Those were some of the new additions that I got. These things are so affordable. My Halloween ones are the same. And my kids loved the Halloween ones. They loved how soft they were. So I had to get Christmas ones for them. They're so, so, so soft. So I got matching ones for their beds. And then I originally got this light for Alice's bed, but she wanted a tree and Hugo being the sweet big brother said that he would love to have the light. I was just gonna swap it for another tree, but he insisted that he would take the light. So Hugo has the light, Callum has a tree, and here's the project. I love how it turned out. It was so much fun. My kids loved it. It should be able to hold some really light ornaments, which we will do later, but it turned out so good. But as you can see, it's getting dark. So this ended up being a two day project for me. I am now in Alice's room. She wanted a pink Christmas tree. So again, I got it on clearance and she was so excited. This one's flocked, not my first choice, but Bakers can't be choosers. It was on clearance and she absolutely loves it. So I am just getting what I can done in her room this evening. I'm not gonna leave the lights on. The LED lights and shutter speed are not friends. So I lit it for a little bit, but she wanted rainbow lights. I wish I had one with like a white cord, but it's fine. I'm going to add some really fun ornaments later. This was the blanket that she got. It's so cute. Again, Target, and then she has her tree. And then one other little item that is new that I got at Target. It's a gumdrop candy cane. It's so cute. But her room will be mostly done for the evening and then we will finish it the next morning. Look at that, it's so cute. New day, new decorations. I'm just putting some finishing touches in Alice's room. These are just decorations that I have had. I know for sure I got that picture at Target. I'm a big fan of Target, apparently. Uh, I had 
put Garland up for fall over her bed, but then I got nervous and took it down, but she actually did really well with it when in the new spot. So I just put the garland above her bed and then I found these at Costco probably a month ago. Alice is a huge fan of squash mallows, if you haven't noticed. And so this was a must, of course. So I'm putting these on her tree. She loves them. I don't know if they're gonna get packed up again. She might need to keep them out year round. I got this flag, another Target find this year. So cute. I got one for the boys as well, which I will put on their door. But her room is so adorable. She loves everything. And it was so fun to put a tree in her room. I would have loved to have a tree when I was a kid. So it was really fun to help give that to her. But her room turned out so cute. Drive along in December rain that play my favorite song. I see a snowflake melt on the deck I'm awful cold And longing for the holiday Counting days until you're here I've been waiting this whole year Dear Christmas, Christmas, Christmas night I know you may suffer light But together we're Well, the kids' rooms are done. I love how they turned out, and I can't wait to put ornaments on the tree in the playroom. I am now in my bedroom. I have always wanted a Christmas tree in my room, and this is the year for it. Like I said, I kind of collect trees as they go on clearance, and I finally have enough. So I'm gonna put a tree in my room, and I'm so excited, but first I need to clean it up. So I'm wiping things down with the thieves cleaner. I know my bedroom is just a, a desolate land with nothing on the walls. It's the bottom of the list. I just haven't done anything with it. We need new bedroom furniture. All of ours is breaking. It's old. And there's the green dresser. You don't see this corner of my bedroom very often. I'm not a fan of the green dresser. It originally was in Hugo's room when he was a baby and it did match and it was very cohesive. But now it's in this room because that was like two houses ago and I just haven't had time to paint it. Well, I haven't made time to paint it, but someday I will. So I'm just gonna dust it for now and be grateful that I have a dresser. And as you can see, I'm just wiping off the pictures. That's Harley in a hat. And then that's a wedding picture for, from Connor and I's wedding. I love that picture. But I'm gonna finish getting things dusted. I'm going to vacuum and then I'm gonna put the tree of my dreams in my bedroom. I go a little harder on my bedroom tree and I love how it turned out. When the neighbors come, I hit the road. So this was our living room Christmas tree last year, but I got something new for downstairs. I hope I like it. If I don't, I'm just gonna swap them and put that one upstairs in my room. But it's really skinny and it doesn't take up a bunch of space, which I like. And I'm just gonna get the lights on. And here's where I discover that it changes colors and it blinks. Simple minds, Rhea. Oh, Rhea. Uh, but I'm gonna get the lights on the tree again. Please don't judge me for my light distribution. I'm doing the best that I can. I like how it turned out. I 
If you know me, I'm very simple. What's nice about putting trees in the corner is that you don't have to put anything on the back. If nobody can see it, don't waste ornaments there. And this garland was only six feet long, so I made it work with what I had. And then I'm just adding these berry picks that I found last year. The garland, I think, was a Walmart find a couple of years ago, and I only had two, so I just kind of zigzagged it around to help it look filled in and then added this snowflake. It's simple, but I love it. Side by side all night I'll hold your hand so tight I'm just going to get my bed all cozy, put on a new big knitted blanket and some pillows and call it a day. I hope that you enjoyed this. It was certainly fun to decorate upstairs. I am so excited to decorate the rest of my house. I'm excited to share it with you. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss anything. I have lots of fun things coming up for the holiday. But thank you so much for being here. I so appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Bye.